The winner of the prize for non-fiction is No Friend But The Mountains, <laughs> writing from Manus Prison by Ro Beirouz Pacini. When I arrived at Christmas Island six years ago, an immigration official called me into the office and told me that they were going to exile me to Manus Island, a place in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. I told them that I am a writer. That same person just laughed at me and ordered the guards to exile me to Manus. I kept this image in my mind for years, even while I was writing my novel. And even right now, as I am writing this acceptance speech, it was an act of humiliation. When I arrived in Manus, I created another image for myself. I imagine a novelist in a remote prison. Sometimes I would walk half naked beside the prison fences and imagine a novelist locked up right there in that place. This image was all inspiring. For years, I maintained this image in my mind, even while I was forced to wait in a long queue to get food or while enduring other humiliating moments. This image always helped me uphold my dignity and keep my identity as a human being. In fact, I created this image in opposition to the image created by the system. After years of struggling against a system that has completely ignored our individual identities, I am happy that we have arrived at this moment. This proves that words still have the power to challenge inhuman systems and structures. I have always said that I believe in words and literature. I believe that literature has the potential to make change and challenge structures of power. Literature has the power to give us freedom. Yes, it is true. I have been in a cage for years, but throughout this time, my mind has always been producing words. And these words have taken me across borders, taking me overseas and to unknown places. I truly believe words are more powerful than the fences of this place, this prison. This is not just a basic slogan. I am not an idealist. I am not expressing the views of an idealist here. These words are from a person who has been held captive on this island for almost six years. A person who has witnessed an extraordinary tragedy unfold in this place. These words allow me to appear there with you tonight. With humility, I would like to say that this award is a victory. It is a victory not only for us, but for literature and art. And above all, it is a victory for humanity, a victory for human being, human dignity. A victory against a system that has never recognized us as human being. It is a victory against a system that has reduced us to numbers. This is a beautiful moment. Let us all rejoice tonight in the power of literature.